Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. spirit. Let us pray. O God, who through thy Son, the true cornerstone, hast bestowed upon the faithful the fire of thy brightness, sanctify this new fire now struck from the flintstone, to be profitable to our service, and grant unto us that by this paschal feast we will be so inflamed with heavenly desires that we may with pure hearts attain to the feast of thy eternal brightness, through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. be blessed by him we honor the heart burnt. Okay, now we take the flashlight. Okay. Back up here. Christ, yesterday and today. The beginning and the end, the Alpha and the Omega, he is by his holy and glorious wounds may Christ the Lord guard and preserve us. May the light of Christ gloriously rise, scattering the darkness of heart and mind. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Let us pray. We beseech thee, Almighty God, that the abundance of thy blessing may come down upon this lighted candle, and as thou thyself unseen art the regenerator of all things, so kindle a light to lighten our darkness, that not only may our sacrifice which is offered on this night be illumined by the inward presence of thy light, 
that all places wheresoever the same shall be carried from this mystery here sanctified. The wickedness of the crafts of the devil may be driven forth in the power of thy majesty ever present. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. A small candle. The Easter candle is a symbol of the risen Christ. When it has been lit and blessed, it will be carried in solemn procession through the church as a sign of Christ's risen glory and as the head of his people. First, the celebrant marks the candle with the cross of our salvation. Then the first letters of the Greek alphabet, Alpha and Omega, for Christ is the beginning and the end of all things. And with the number of this year, now consecrated in a special way, to be our triumphant king. Next, the celebrant inserted five grains of incense, will insert five grains of incense in the candle and light it from the flame of the Easter fire. The incense grains are assigned to the wounds of Christ's body. Now the glorious signs of Christ's triumph over death and the source of our transgressions and the source of our salvation. The deacon puts on white vestments for he is the herald of our joy. As we go through the church, the deacon will proclaim the glad news of Christ's resurrection, lifting up the candle, which is the light of Christ. Each time he will sing the light of Christ. We will genuflect and say thanks be to God. And the light of Christ is shared by his members as the light from the Easter candle goes from one person to another of Christ's faithful people. Five grains of incense. There we go. Oh, yeah. okay. The nail. The nail. Okay, gotcha. The candles are on the white table. As, as you come in, please uh, get a candle and a candle holder. Thanks be to God. The light of Christ, thanks be 